Okay, so we haven't actually inserted anything into our database table articles yet, but what we do need to do before we do so is add another column here. Now we've got a name, description, and created that column, but this doesn't give us a unique enough identifier as to as to the difference between each records. We could have maybe ten thousand records in this table, um, and there's no single thing that will distinguish it from the others. Uh, two articles may in fact be created at exactly the same time. That doesn't mean that they're two. That doesn't mean that they're the same article. That doesn't mean they're two different articles necessarily. So what we need to do is add another field in here, which you'll commonly find in database tables, and that's a unique field. Now, we're going to look at a couple of different things here as well. We're going to look at the fact that this is a primary key, and we're also going to look at the fact this is an auto-incrementing field. But first of all, let's check out the syntax of how we alter this table to actually uh, create a new column. So we use the alter table syntax, and then we choose the actual table that we want to go ahead and uh, change. And this, in this case, it's just articles. So what we want to do is we want to add a column. So this is part of the uh, MySQL syntax. We want to add a column. Then we want to choose the name of the column that we want to add. Now in this case, I'm just going to call this ID. Now I need now I need to, as when we created the table, actually define the type of field, and this is going to be int. Now remember in the last video we looked at the difference between null and not null and why this, you know, why it should be. But now we'll understand why this field should be not null, whereas these are null. So we say not null. Uh, the reason for this is that because this is an auto-increment uh, field, it always has to have a value. So by default, we will start at 1. Uh, so when we create our first record, it will be 1. When we create our second record, it will be 2. And this will automatically happen. It says auto-increment, so automatically increment, or automatic increment. So we need to actually define that we want this to be an auto-increment by saying auto underscore increment. So uh, now we've done that. Now, because this is an auto-increment, it also has to be a primary key. So primary key. Now this also, let's just type this correctly, primary key. So because it's a primary key, this is the unique identifier for a table. So therefore, because it's the primary key, if we had any other tables that reference this, they would always reference the records by the ID. So this is the primary key of here. So we end this and hit enter. And you can see here that it says query OK. Let's now go ahead and describe articles. Now we can now see that we've got uh, another field in here, which is ID. We've got a type of int, which is uh, 11 in character length or, or in, uh, digit length. Null is no. The key is PRI, which stands for primary. The default is null, which is fine because it's, uh, it's going to be required. And the extra now says auto increment, which means that when we create a record, this field, without specifically defining it, will automatically increment the number. So the first record we create will be one, then the second will be two, and so on. So uh, now that we've actually uh, altered our table and added a new record, uh, sorry, added a new column, we can now go ahead and start inserting records.